Hey guys, it's Furry Critters, and I know it's been a while, but today I'm going to show you how I clean my cages and how my routine is and tours and stuff. So when I deep clean, I need to get all the guinea pigs. These are all sows, all girls. I put them in this little pen that I got, and I lock it, and I put their veggie plates in here today. They had lettuce, carrots, bell peppers, and a little bit of watermelon today, so they all stay in here. And now I'm going to show you their cages. So, this is Miss Chocolate's cage. She has her hay right there and her pellets and her water. And then she has her little hide. So, Chocolate lives in here, the rescued guinea pig. And I'll show you my guinea pig cabinet. It's kind of dark, sorry. I have fleece a little bit left because I've been cage cleaning. And I have stuff on the top. And I have their food right here. I'll show you their pellets. And it comes to the top, guys. And it's pretty messy because I had old I have old fleece. Here's their hay. Of course, now we're gonna move on to Cherry's cage and the babies. So this is Cherry's cage and her two little baby girls. It's a Midwest. I know it's a little crowded, but on the Midwest box it shows three guinea pigs. So here's their hay racks. They have Two Timothy hay racks filled with. They have pellets in there, hay based pellets. They have a little chew log, as you can see, they chewed it up. And they have a little main log. And their cage is just freshly deep cleaned. Sorry for the bad lighting. I'm using my phone and not my camera because my camera's dead. But yeah, let's have it focus for a minute. So here's theirs. That's. Cherries and her two babies, and then here's cinnamon and cocos, just two. It's a two by four. I can even show you in a different video. They have two p pellet bowls. They have a little chew hide igloo, and then they have a blue igloo, and then they have a little chew log. And then here's their water. There's water in it. And on the top, I just have some extra guinea pig supplies. I just went shopping, so here's their cage two by four. Two girls live in here for your new cinnamon and cocoa. So yeah, everybody's freshly cleaned. And then this is their Timothy Hay box. Gotta restock pretty soon. But, oh and let me show you their pellets. These are the guinea pig pellets I use. Their guinea pig added vitamin C essential nutrient. So they're very good. They're just these little pellets. And then I have a little spoon to measure. They get one eighth of a cup. And now I'm going to add, and I still got to do Mr. Cookie. He, yes, he is in a small cage because he's a boar and he cannot have babies. I'm going to get him a Midwest soon. So stay tuned for that. Yes, he definitely is getting an upgrade. He's going to get a Midwest like the girls. So now... I'm going to set you down right here. I'll just set you down right here. And then I'm going to bring the piggies back in their cage now. And they also have a little ball. So let me go grab them. They're in the little X pin. Come on, piggies. Come on, piggies. The first guinea pig we got, I got right now, is Cherry. So, Cherry lives in this Midwest. There she is. It comes at the top, too, because I have a dog. All right, now I'm going to set you down again, and I'm going to go grab some more guinea pigs. Let's grab them. Come on, piggies. All done. Now I have Miss Coco, and the reason the girls are separated is because they fight. Coco is a mean bully guinea pig. There she is. She just got back in her cage. And they're not always in the cage. I take them out in the X-Pen. Set you down again. Gonna go grab the other guinea pigs. I know a lot of people might argue that the Midwest only holds two guinea pigs, but on the box it shows three, and I normally wouldn't do um, 
three guinea pigs in there, but I had to. And I couldn't separate the girls together. I'm just going to let them live together. All right, so Cinny and Coco are all freshly cleaned out, and they're all done. So there you go. Now I'm going to set you down right here, and you can see Sweet Cherry. And I'm going to go grab the other guinea pigs. Come on, piggies. We have baby Carmel next. Miss Carmel's going to go with her mama. There she goes. Now I'm going to grab another David. And they're about three months and they look a little small on camera, but trust me, they're big. And now these three are together. All right, all finished. So this is what we're looking at. The baby's growing up. So now Cherry and the two babies are all set. They have their hay right there, their Timothy hay. And I do refill it. They have their pellets, their hides, and then they get two water bottles. It's full, trust me. And then this one's also full. Because guinea pigs need water. And now I'm going to put the top on. And it came with a divider, but I don't need to divide them up because they don't fight. And plus they're girls, so nobody's going to get pregnant. So that's the good thing. And I even have a little guinea pig calendar. It's so nice. Cute little calendar. So now I just got to put them up. And now they're all fresh. And, then, and I'll show you where I store their fleece once it's dirty. And then I take it and the washers and dryers. I just wanted to give you guys a little update and an, a little sneak peek of how my routine works with my guinea pigs. Now they're safe and my dog cannot get them. So now I'm gonna sh get you to Miss Chocolate's cage and then we're gonna set you right here. And now we're gonna get Miss Chocolate to find my transporter. All right, come come on, All right, and here is Miss Chocolate. Boom. She has her hide, hay, pellets, and water. So she is all set. She's all good. Now I'm gonna put the top to her cage because I have a little dog and I don't want anybody getting to her because they're prey animals and plus they need to feel safe. And now I'm gonna show you where I store their dirty blankets. And then I take them to the washer and dryer. And today I'm going to do some more piggy laundry because we're running behind on some fleece, so i got to get that done. And um, let me tell you how I clean it. I, clean, I deep clean their cages every three days. So I cleaned it today, so I'll spot clean it with a mini dust pan, all the hay and poop up. Three more days and then not anymore. So now I'm going to get these little tubs out and show you where their dirty fleece go. And then I take these to the washer and dryer and then they get all clean. So these hold their dirty fleece as you can see. And then they go back and then this is more fleece that is dirty that I'm going to have to put in another container like this. So um, yeah, everything's a little messy right now but that's how I do things, and that's how my operation works. And then, of course, you got to vacuum the whole area because it's a mess. So, yeah, that's how I work. That's how I do it, and I just got to finish off Cookie. And, yeah, that's my piggies. So...
that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!